Coming up this weekend, a great event uh, here in Lubbock. It's uh, the 22nd annual Grape Day and uh, in studio uh, with us today, uh, Mike Laughlin uh, from Yano Estacado Winery, uh, one of the great wineries out here. Mike, welcome back. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us uh, a little bit about Grape Day, the 22nd annual. That's uh, I didn't know it was that many, but uh, 22nd annual, that's awesome. It, uh, it's, it's really amazing that it's lasted this long. <clears throat> Grape Day, it's really a celebration of our harvest. It's a chance for us to kind of open up our doors, show everybody what we've been doing all year, and just really a, a grape way, <laughs> as it were, for people to uh, get out there and experience some of our fabulous wine. Well, you know, and, and what, I, uh, what I really like the last few years, it seems, uh, you've had great weather, mm-hmm. and so people have been able to you know, go outside Enjoy wine, enjoy a lot of food out there because you are going to have food vendors, correct? Yes, sir. And, you know, watch a little football. I know there's a football screen set up. So, uh, and, it's, uh, and really, it's, it's a chance for everyone to kind of see the winery as well. Yeah, of course. I mean, we have uh, live music, too, outside. Lots of local food and um, little arts and crafts type vendors. Bounce house even for the kids. But, of course, that tech game's number one in my book. So got to have that big screen to watch us beat Kansas. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, tell folks the particulars, uh, what time. Uh, grape day is and how much it costs to get in well grape day itself kicks off at about 10 a.m and then it goes until 5 p.m uh, it only costs five dollars to get in that gets you a commemorative glass to keep and then tickets good towards your first glass of wine okay and you can buy more tickets after that yes sir all right and uh tell us a little bit about uh, some of the wines out of yano well this year we're going to be showcasing some of our i'm going to say higher end wines some of the locally produced wines uh locally sourced wines especially from uh, brownfield terry county even you know, even some from, you know, closer than that. Uh, so we're going to have like 1836 red. Uh, that's a great wine because of course, Texas independence. Uh, it's also one of our most premium wines. We've actually got a special on it running right now. Um, but we're going to be sampling it for the first time ever at a festival. You know what I I think is, uh, interesting, you know, for, for a lot of folks who travel to Lubbock, of course they know, you know, cotton big deal out here. They know act is, is a big deal. Uh, but a lot of folks, they, they're, they're starting to realize that wine and uh, grapes a big deal in West Texas. You know, Terry County down there around Brownfield produces about, on a given year, 80 to 90 percent of the Texas grapes for the whole state. Wow. So everybody down in Fredericksburg is getting their grapes from up here. And we're being, us being so much closer just kind of helps us. We're, we're used to this climate, making wine from these grapes. Are, you, are y'all seeing an increase at, at Yano of people who are just kind of traveling around uh, and tasting Texas wines and, and wines here in Lubbock? I'm going to say we're seeing a big increase in the younger generation getting interested in wine at a much mm-hmm. earlier age. That Texas Tech does help that, of course, but you know even people traveling here uh, just to taste these fantastic Texas wines. That's great. Uh, Mike, uh, one more time, tell folks uh, the particulars about the 22nd annual uh, Grape Day over at Yano Winery. Uh, Grape Day runs from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's only $5 to get in. And where's Yana located? Uh, we're three miles east of Highway 87 on Farm to Market Road, 1585. Cool. Easy to get to. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Mike, thanks for stopping by today. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.